Yo, what's good, Unlocked family? It's your boy B Ran, and we back at it again with another banger. So, as you can see, my boy, my brother, Malachi, he needs some help. SOS. That boy hasn't had a cut in about three weeks, almost a month now. His hair grows kind of fast, so as you can see, it's kind of rough. I told him sit down and I'm gonna lock it for him. Now, this is me using the comb to pick through his hair. And I'm going all the way around his head because you want to make sure you lift every single piece of hair up so that way when you take the clippers and you go through it'll cut evenly. Now this is me simply going through his hair with my 1.5 guard making sure to brush as I go through and really continuously go over it so that way I can get it all evened out. And I don't know if you noticed but around his parietal ridge I switched to my one open just to even that out going down. All right, y'all, so using my JRL clippers, I went to the corner of his vertical bar just to start. So I have a matching point for the other side. And then that's what I use to create my guideline all the way around. And I use my clippers because it's easier to take out that first line when you're fading. If I was to use my trimmers, it would be extremely hard because the trimmers are so close to the skin. And this is just me doing the same thing on the other side, going to that vertical bar, the corner of it, and following that all the way around. I'm dropping it just a little bit. As you can see, my boy got what we call a cone head. <laughs> nah, I'm just, I'm just really roasting his ass, but this is just better for the shape of his head. So it'll... Also, I want y'all to know, I've only been cutting hair for about two years now. So if you're a barber and you got some experience and some years in the game and you watching my video and you see something that I can improve on, don't be afraid to shoot me something in the comments, any tips, anything, you know what I'm saying? I'm always looking to get better. Um, I've been in this shop for about six months now and I'm just trying to constantly get better every day. So if you guys have any tips, go ahead and drop them below. What I did after using my clippers was I used my trimmers just to clean up everything all the way down to the skin. Now what I'm doing is going up with the lever open about a full inch and I'm creating my first guideline. I normally do this step all the way around the head first especially with this step just because I feel like it helps me keep everything even however just because of video purposes I only did it um, for this side of the head so I went all the way around and stopped in the middle of the occipital bone in the back Now with the lever closed, I'm itching at that first line. I'm really just itching it. And as I go up in the fade, I'm going to open up the lever. And I'm only opening up to like the third click, honestly, to like the third notch of it. So boom, I opened it up a little bit, and now I'm itching it again. And then I'm opening up a little bit more and itch it all the way until it just looks the same throughout that side of the fade. Moving on, I used my one guard closed and did the same finger width guideline. So that means I'm going up about a finger's width. 
you can go ahead and put your finger in the middle of that section just to measure it to make sure it's about a finger's width. Then I took my 0.5 closed and started erasing that bottom line that my one closed created. And I'm rubbing over it and flicking out. Going over it and then flicking. I'm not trying to create a whole new line going all the way to the top. As you can see, it's starting to blend. Things are coming out nicely. Let's get it. Then I took my one and a half guard closed and faded all the way up to that parietal ridge. And the reason why I did that one and a half closed all the way up to that parietal ridge is so that way when I come back underneath it, with my one open, it'll blend between those two guards. So this is me still going over it with that one and a half guard. Making sure it's an even cut all the way. Brushing, always brushing, moving that hair to see what else needs to be cut. And then with my one guard open, I come back and I blend right in between that one and a half and that one closed. And as you can see, the fade's starting to come together nicely. Everything's starting to blur. And that's what you want. Barbers that have some experience, y'all tap in with me real quick. What do you guys focus on when you're detailing because that's something that I still need to work on what do you guys what is your thought process when you're going back over to detail your cut now go ahead and drop some tips in that comment section for your boy And then for the beard, I kind of just follow the same steps that I do for the top of the head. So you're gonna see me use no guard, lever open, then closing it up to itch out that line. Then I'm gonna go with my one. And then after my one, I'm gonna go with my 0.5 guard. And then I might come back with the one and a half guard right underneath that to blend it all. So it's really the same steps, I just reversed it. To all my anime fans out there, I know you see that boy Gojo up there from Jujutsu Kaisen. The new season just came out, and so far, it's fire. If you know me, you know I'm a big anime fan. So y'all go ahead and tell me what your top three animes right now are in the comments. Following the shape that's already there, I just use my trimmers and line the beard up. I never force it. I literally just follow the shape of the beard that they already have. Sometimes people might have overgrown hair that's growing past their actual lineup and that's when you have to create the line, but nine times out of 10, you can just follow the line and that'll be the shape of their beard. Moving on to the lineup. This is just my lineup prep using an alcohol wipe and then a blow dryer to dry that in. And then I'm using my holding spray and I blow dried that again, just to let you guys know. Now I'm creating my first vertical bar line on the right side. Creating that first line right there. That's my vertical bar, all right? And I'm gonna just try and match it up on his other side depending on where his hair is 
Now, like I said, my boy Malachi, he has a cone shaped head. <laughs> so you'll see at the end, but I'm just following his God. I'm just following his line that's already there. I'm not pushing the corners up. I'm not bringing the corners down. I'm kind of just following the shape of his head. using both corners on both sides to come to a point to get that sharp corner look. Same thing on the other side. Itch it from the corner to the middle, from the middle to the corner. And then like I said in the first video, if it's not razor sharp, it's not sharp. I'm gonna say it again. If it's not razor sharp, it's not sharp. So I always hit my client with the razor to get them nice and crispy, all right? Same thing that I did with the hairline, make sure you pull the skin whenever you're using the razor. That's how you get that ash look. Damn, just like that, I changed my boy's life. All right, y'all see the finished product. Y'all see what I'm working with. All right, this is a full view of the cut. I do see some areas that I can improve on for next time. And that's just something that I'm trying to stay cognizant of and pay attention to. Always, how am I gonna improve the next time I cut this person? All right, like I said, if you guys have any tips, go ahead and leave them in the comment section. Thank you guys for watching. Go ahead and like and subscribe and catch your boy B-Ram for the next video.